Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So now we'll try to calculate the concrete quantity uh, for the footing and also the shuttering quantity. Okay. So now coming to the footing shuttering quantity, I'll show you with the 3D quickly. We all know all these things in the course, but still, uh, yeah. So this was my excavation quantity to put it in a better way. Quickly, I'll do that. See, this was the breadth given to me. This was my, uh, you know, I mean, this was my length given to me, the breadth and I had the depth of the footing. So whatever is the soil that is taken out, that is my excavation quantity, right? Similarly, if I go to the PCC quantity, so you can see it here. Uh, this was a footing. I mean, this was a footing length, okay, including the PCC offset. This is a footing breadth, including the PCC offset. And this was the depth of my PCC. If I multiply all the three things, I'm going to get which one? That is a PCC quantity. You can see the PCC put up here, right? Same thing, you can apply here the same logic the length, the breadth, and also the thickness of that. Got it? Yeah. Now I'll take you to the uh, footing part. We'll see if I get, if I can get a footing here. Yeah. I'll take you to the footing shuttering quantity. Yeah, this seems to be better. Yeah. Now coming to the footing shuttering quantity, it's very simple. This is how my footing look. And you can see this one, this is my shuttering. Okay. See all these things is explained in my uh, site engineer course which is for more than 40 hours of a lecture. So in this case, uh, uh, and even in the quantity estimation, I explained all these things. This PPT and all these things has been explained in my quantity, uh, this thing, site engineer. Of course, you can, if you want, if you're interested, you can buy from there. Yeah. Now I'll teach you how to find the shuttering quantity here. I know the length of this, right? I know the depth of this. So for one I'm doing, similarly, I know the length of this. I know the breadth of this. Similarly, for this also, I know the length. I know the depth of this. Similarly, for this plate, I know the length, I know the breadth of this. So if I add all these things, like if I multiply the length and the depth of this one plate, similarly, this is my second plate, third plate and fourth plate. If I try to add all the four things, I'm going to get the shuttering quantity. That's a one way of doing. Otherwise, what you can do is you can try to find out the perimeter. Like this is a length I know. I know this length also. I know this length also. I know this length also. Whatever length is, it's a running meter. You multiply that by the depth of this board, you're going to get the shuttering quantity. Got it. Now, uh, what should be the length of this? It's very simple. Whatever is a footing size, no? that much itself is a formwork. If I'm footing size, let us say, if I have a footing size of three meter by four meter, then obviously one side will be three meter. This will be three meter for me. This will be three meter. And this is four meter. Again, this is three meter. And again, this is four meter. Now add this three meter plus four meter plus three meter plus four meter comes out to be four plus four is eight. Eight plus three is 11. 11 plus three is 14. 14 is my running meter. And if I multiply that by the depth of my footing, let us say the depth of my footing is uh, 0.5. That is 500 mm. So I got answer of 14. So 14, if I multiply by 0.5, of course I'm getting seven. So answer is seven square meter. This is important. The unit is important. Got it. So I taught you in a very uh, crude way. I'll explain that through an Excel sheet now. Quickly, uh, can you do the, uh, the same logic? Can you do the, for, can you find the footing size for this? 3.5, 2.5, and 0.5 is the depth of my uh, footing. Find the shuttering quantity for this. Okay, now one more thing. Previously, I told you to find out the excavation quantity and PCC quantity. I've done it for this one, two, three footing. This is my uh, excavation quantity, one, two, three footing. This is my PCC quantity for this three footing. Note it down and try to verify whether you have got the same answer or not. Okay. Now we'll come for this. So again, how you do this 3.5 plus 2.5. So simple. Always remember, if you want to find the shuttering quantity, you can apply one small formula, which is equal to two into, I'll write it here. Two into length plus breadth, two into length plus breadth. So this is my shuttering quantity. I mean, shuttering formula. If I want to put it in better way, see. Remember this always. Okay. Now quickly, can you apply this formula here? I'll do it here is equal to two. I'm multiplying two into what is my length here? 3.5. Agree with me. Plus what is the breadth? 2.5. Close the bracket and enter. So I'm getting answer here. What is answer? Okay. Yeah. Answer is 12. So this 12 is what running meter. If I multiply this by the depth of the footing, I'll get the shuttering quantity in square meter. So again, what I'm supposed to do. I'll say equal to, I'll put it here. Okay. Is equal to, this is 12. I'll multiply this by depth of the footing 0.5. How much I'm getting? Okay. It's not visible. I'll do it here. 
okay multiply by depth of the footing six so six square meter is the answer see i got six here itself isn't it you can see because this sheet is also prepared with the same formula you can see six here and i got six here also now you can do it for any other now try to do it for this and i'll write a depth here uh, i'll write the depth of footing depth of footing okay uh, okay i'll write like 0.5 for this i'll write 0.65 for this okay and i'll write uh, 0.85 okay anything is okay let me make it in a better way hmm. yeah done okay now if you want to find the shuttering quantity what you are supposed to do you'll get the answer from here itself no need to do anything directly put all the values here i did it for this one we'll do for this 4.2 3.2 and 0.65 so directly put 4.2 Next one is 3.2. Put your breadth as 3.2. And in the depth part, this is the depth. What is the depth? 0.65. Put 0.65 here. Rest all things is not required. Because why? Because we are concerned with only length, breadth and depth. This is independent of this particular formula. If you change this working space and all, nothing will happen. You are getting 9.62. Similarly, do it for uh, uh, this thing. 7.8 into 2.6 into 0.85. You do it manually and try to verify with the Excel sheet. Okay. Yeah. So footing is understood, shuttering is understood. Again, remember, shuttering is always in square meter. Concrete is always in cubic meter. Now we'll come to concrete quantity for the footing. It's very simple. I know the length of my footing. I know the breadth of my footing. If I multiply by the depth of my footing, it will give me the concrete quantity. Straight away, calculations you're supposed to do. Can you do it for this? 4.2, 3.2, and 0 0.65. I'll do it here quickly. Or let me do it manually. So I know the length. Length is 4.2. Uh, I know the uh, breadth that is 3.2 and I know the depth 0.65. I'm getting 8.73. You can see 8.73 cubic meters of footing con concrete quantity. Okay, I'll do it for one more. I'll take this as an example. 7.8, 2.6. For this, we'll try to do that. 7.8. Then I have 2.6. And tell me what is the depth of it? Depth is 0 0.85. 0 0.85. Got it? So I'll do it manually. From the Excel sheet, I directly got an answer of 17.23. I'll do it 7.8 into 2.6 into 0.85. Got it? So I'm getting 17.23 on my calculator. And practically on the Excel sheet, I'm getting 17.23. Very simple. Got it? So we understood footing shattering quantity, footing concrete quantity. We understood excavation quantity. We understood the PCC quantity. Next, we'll try to find the column concrete quantity and column shattering. Right? These are the basic questions they will ask. Like I mentioned, they are, see, when you become quantity survey, it's your duty to do all these things in this way, okay? I, because you have to check the drawings, a lot of formulas will be there, many things will be there. All these things you're supposed to do. You can see here how I've done all this concrete quantity and all. This is all my uh, plinth beam shuttering, beam shuttering, uh, how much cement is required. You can see it here, no? See here? Yeah, here you will find how much cement, sand, aggregate is required, water is required, and everything you're going to do. I did it for one footing. Whatever footing you have in your drawing, based on that, you are supposed to do it. Okay. Yeah. But if you, the concept remains the same. That's it. Okay. Now come to the uh, column part. So, column, I've given a breadth of one column as 0 0.23. The depth of my column, see, always in remember, uh, in column, we say breadth, depth, and the height of the column. Okay. So, breadth is 230 mm, 0.23, depth is 0 0.6, and height is 2.5. Can you find the shuttering quantity for this? Very simple. Again, say formula 2 into length plus breadth. I'll do it here equal to 2. I'll multiply this by length. What is the length? I mean the breadth 0.23. What is the depth? 0.6. And then I'll multiply this by height of the column. Height is 2.5. I'll press enter. I'm getting 4.15. You can see in the Excel sheet also it is 4.15. I have linked all this Excel sheet. Similarly, can you find the concrete quantity of this column? Very simple. Concrete quantity. The moment I say concrete quantity, length, breadth and depth should come in your mind. So 0.23 into 0.6 and into point into 2.5. I'll do it here. 0 0.23 into 0 0.6 into 2.5. I'm getting 0 0.345 cubic meter. You can see 0 0.345 cubic meter. Now you take an assignment. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll give you some different uh, dimensions. You can do it. Okay. Okay. Because if you practice, it's always good. 0 0.5 into 0 0.65. 
uh, into height you take 3.2 meter this is first for you take another has 0.75 by 0.9 into uh, 5.8 okay then you take one more as uh, uh, one point will take a kind of a wall 1.2 into 1.8 into let us say uh, you know um, we'll take it as uh, 3.8 got it yeah now uh, this three are assignment for you try to find the shuttering quantity and concrete quantity and you do it manually to verify what you're supposed to do suppose if i want to verify this one i'll do it yeah i'll verify for this that is this one put a different color yeah so what i'm supposed to directly put the 1.2 here anything is okay instead of breadth and depth because it's a multiplication and this is 1.8 and what is height 3.8 you do it manually and to verify your answer you should get this answer in shuttering you should get 22.8 concrete you should get 8.2 i'll do for concrete 1.2 into 1.8 into 3.8 yeah i'm getting 8.20 i'm getting 8.20 again this is in square meter and this is in cubic meter right so if you have this much understanding no surely uh, they are going to ask if they ask the question this will be the questions on your concrete quantity and all because they expect a fresh engineer to know all these things okay Otherwise, it's very difficult for you to survive on the site. Even if they don't ask also no issues on the site, you're supposed to do this calculation because if you're ordering a concrete to put it in the footing, you should know how to calculate the concrete quantity required for that particular footing. That is why I've taken up this particular discussion. And, and, right, and please try to complete this assignment and verify your answer. Any doubt, you can get back to me. So I hope you have enjoyed the lecture up to here. We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.